Uh, I got a Chrysler 2009 Town and Country. This van here is throwing a code. The code that it is throwing right now is um, P0755 24 shift solenoid circuit code and it's coming on right away. Um, I'm suspecting that the solenoid pack is the issue but I'd like to take, I'd like to take and at least do an ohms check to see what I can see first um, before I go and start replacing the pack. So I got the tire off on this van the computer is on the left side underneath the wheel well so you have to take this plastic the plastic part off also but there's also one other thing that I like to do because I have this problem all the time and you get on online somewhere and you can't really know what connector is the one for the transmission solenoids I mean and then you get on Mitchell and all that you gotta put in certain words I guess for it to get to where you want to see you know what you want to see you have four connectors on the computer and I want to see which one is the shift or, or, that um, houses the solenoids and if you don't know you gonna have to take them apart and see what wires are next to the other and I hate doing it because I like just like to know so now that I know again because I always every time I have an issue here and I had to test I still never know where the wires are or which connector is what so now I'm going to show you the green one so on the green one it got solenoids I believe it say connector 4 when it says connector 4 on this van here see I, I didn't even have to take this one loose and apart but I took it loose because I didn't know if this was 4 on this side or if it was 4 on the other side of the computer all right, so let's see here on this computer here. You got four connectors. One, two, three, and on this side will be four. Okay. Now, on this setup, this is the one on this side. On this, the far left, I guess, going towards the bumper. That is the one that you would take loose in order to ohms check the solenoids for the transmission these you don't have to take loose okay is this one here and it has a green uh, a, a, a green face to it this one I took loose on this side has a, a black face so the other one might be yellow orange I don't know but one two three and this is the one on that side so now I know and I may have to watch my own video sometimes say okay which one of these connectors I got to take loose so I'm gonna post this so I can look myself up so now let's see right here you know you, what you're going to do you have to take these things off okay they, they hook on like this okay and believe me, when you start to take them off, they got tabs here, right here. They're going to break. Just go on and break them off. You could put this back on and maybe hold it down and put some super glue against the, the steel, the, the, the other part of it right here to keep this, put this back in its place. But these really ain't designed to be taken apart, but pushed in one time. You take them apart, they break. That's how they're made. But you got to get them apart. So get them apart because you have to be able to see in here so you can see what wires are what so now the wire that I'm going to be doing an ohms test on is going to be this one on this side which is the voltage feed it's a yellow with an orange and it's number 19 yellow and an orange so you I'm hooked to that wire now I could what I did I could have back probed or I could have front probe whatever but the reason I got this hooked onto here because I was having some weird signals and I wasn't sure if it was a problem here so I was doing a wiggle test but I just end up just putting the probe and leaving it on here now the one I'm having an issue with is that one 
the blue with the yellow stripe. I think that's it. Is that it? Yeah. The blue with the yellow stripe right there. That would be, see what number that is. One, two, three, look like six. Make sure one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's number six. So that would be the underdrive solenoid circuit. So I'm gonna take, I already got my meter here on this part of circuit here. Now I'm gonna put my meter on this part. That's the voltage feed. This is gonna be the control wire. And I'm gonna test this control wire. And I'm gonna see what the underdrive solenoid say, if it's gonna show me any ohms. All right, so I have my pin inside the 2-4 solenoid circuit, the one that the computer is saying is having a problem, and I have it also on the yellow and orange wire here. Okay, this is the wire you use for all the solenoids. Okay, so I'm here, and it shows me point zero, or, or OL, I mean, zero point L, whatever that is. It's OL. That's a break. All right, so it shows a break there. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to try this solenoid here. That's a solenoid and this is a solenoid. They all should have the same reading. So I'm going to put it here, here, see what the reading is going to be on this solenoid here. I don't know which one it is. I got to check and see again. This is a, a yellow with a gray. The other one is yellow with a blue. Let me see. Yellow with a gray and yellow with a blue. Okay. So we're going to see what that's going to tell me. All right. Right now I have this inside the number one on this connector. And this is a yellow with a gray stripe wire right here. Yellow, yellow with a gray stripe. And it is showing... 1.8 ohms. Okay, now I'm going to put it in the one beside it. Now, the yellow with the gray is the overdrive solenoid circuit. The yellow with the, what is that, blue, which is next to it, stripe, is the underdrive. So I'm going to move it over and put it in there and see what the solenoid reads. Okay, I got it inside that one now. And it is showing 1.8. All right, now we're going to move on to another one, which is the low control uh, circuit. And that's going to be uh, uh, dark green with a yellow, which is dark green with yellow which is right there okay so you have this is on the same row it's going to be right there so I'm going to go right there so I have that in there let's see what it's going to say 1.9 so that's dark green with a yellow so there's one more, let me see. The other one is the low reverse, and that is white with a dark green. That's right beside it. So that's right there, right beside it. So we're gonna move it to the left. And it should show 1.8 or 1.9. And so it does, 1.8, 1.9. So we're back up here. The one that is not showing anything is the 2-4. The one that the computer says having a problem, which is this one. Let's see here, where are you? Oh, I got the alert on. Turn the alert off. There you go. 
those. Okay, that's this this one right here. This this one is having an issue, and I'm going to put the pin right back in there again and see. So let's put that right in there. All right, I got it in there. Right there. So the dark blue with the yellow, and it shows nothing so this problem here is either something wrong with the wiring going up to the computer I mean excuse me to the solenoid pack or something is wrong with the solenoid pack so what I'm going to do the next step is I am going to cut the wire right to the solenoid that dark blue with the yellow I'm gonna cut it and then I am going to test it all right here is the connector for the transmission here uh oh I see the problem I see the problem that's not a shift solenoid issue it's a broken wire a broken wire at the connector huh <sighs> this is worse I preferred to, well now what I gotta do well all right it at least I see what it is now I gotta see how to fix this thing I can't just jam it back in here see just when I'm about to take this loose and hear the wire pop out broken is there anything else in here messed up I do not feel like going and getting a connector and soldering all these wires together. Darn! Ooh, shoot. But, I won't have to take the solenoid off, that's for sure. Let me see here, let me get this out. How do you get this thing off? Okay, I think go this way. Push it forward. All right. All right, so there it goes. You can see that wire is out of here. Broken. Rusted there or something. Bunch of dust. Man, how do I fix this thing? There it goes. Ah. Hmm. Well, there you have it. The broken wire so you got a chance to see how to test the solenoid it wasn't sending a signal to it so uh, you know how to test the new ohms test and we know what the problem is on this all right let me let me fix this thing or or go home or something, shoot.